Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today's a big day for us. A lot of you have been waiting on the new WebEye modules to be released, and finally, they're ready to go to the market. Now, many of you may have used our previous .NET uh, web interface, which was kind of our first step towards a, uh, a web page controlled relay board. The WebEye improves on the .NET module in almost every way. We don't really like to sit on the products that we have at this time. We're always looking for better ways to improve them, make them faster, make them smarter, and make them easier for you to use. And that's what the WebEye is all about. It's an improvement to web-controlled relays in every way and promises to be the end-all, be-all solution. Now, we have a lot of features built into the, web, with, into the WebEye module right now, but we're going to be adding more in the future. The great thing is if you purchase a WebEye controller, you'll always be able to upgrade the firmware inside that module. So whenever we release new features, you can install them on your module and be up to date. Now, the WebEye module is actually uh, based on a Ethernet module manufactured by Landtronics. Uh, Landtronics has made this really nice uh, Landtronics Export Pro, which is a uh, Linux-based uh, Ethernet uh, adapter and we've integrated this into our Relay products. The great thing is we took the Landtronics module and then we made our own board to put it into so that it fits an XB footprint which is our changeable communication interface in all of our Relay boards. So now that we've made this little module it's available in almost every Relay board we manufacture. You can put it in a board with solid state relays. It would just plug in right there. You can put it in as something as big as this 32 channel 30 amp mechanical relay board or something as small as just a single channel relay board and it would just plug right into any of these interfaces. So we have a huge selection of relay boards for you to choose from. The Landtronics module is capable of controlling up to 256 relays or 32 banks. It can also read up to eight built-in A to D inputs on the board. So there's a lot of features that we've brought over from the, our previous design and put into the new WebEye module. Now, the WebEye module has eight megabytes of memory currently. A 16 megabyte version will be released uh, in the near future. Now I've actually got an 8 channel relay board here set up with the Landtronics WebEye module plugged in with 8 A to D inputs built in. And here I have a monitor pulled up with the interface. Now I know you can't see this really good. We're going to do a really nice uh, desktop video so that you can actually see this interface up close and personal. But I just wanted to get you, uh, give you kind of an idea of how it works. Now I've got the interface pulled up right here. So if I want to turn on Relay 1 here, I just click on the on button and it clicks on. And then I click it again and it clicks back off. Uh, we've got up to eight relays here. We have an all on button to turn them all on or an all off to turn them all off. Uh, and then you can click over here on this A to D inputs page and you could read the status of all the A to D inputs. Right now I've got it in the pull up position so they're all reading uh, 255. Um, and then uh, on my page is a really neat new feature that we've added to this. We've added what's called uh, macros. And macros allow you to design your own custom button to do whatever you want to do. You can send up to three commands uh, to control the relays. So you could set up a, a, your own custom button to, say, turn on Relay 1 for five seconds, or turn on Relay 1 and 2, or turn Relay 1 and 2 back off. So with these custom buttons, you can, uh, you can really expand on the ability of the controller. <clears throat> and then we have a console page, which is really nice. And you can go here, and you can type in your command uh, and just send it. Um, so if you want to manually uh, send some commands to the controller, you can type them in and send them right here. And then on the network page, um, not a lot to see here. It really just tells you the IP address and the MAC address of the device. Um, you will notice uh, here, uh, we'll go to the configure page. <clears throat> and here you can give, uh, give the board a name. 
Uh, we've got our setup for what uh, my web eye. You could make it uh, something like living room lights or something like that, and you could name it that. You can also put in the physical address of the device. So if you're accessing a bunch of these devices remotely, say you've got one at your office and you've got one at your house, um, you can actually put a physical address on there. So whenever you go to the device, you can actually see where that device is at. Um, so that's a pretty neat new feature. Um, yep, get over here so I can scroll. Uh, and there's uh, different services you can uh, enable, like signalswitch.com, which I'm going to touch on here in just a second. Uh, NCD Network Component is a library of samples that we've developed for you to create your own custom software. We'll get into that more in a minute. Um, so you can enable and disable those. And there's just a whole lot of different, different things that you can customize here on this configuration page. And then down here at the bottom, you can go to NCD Home, and that'll take you to our website. So we'll just go back to the Relays page here, and I'll get into a little bit more. Now, the uh, connectivity of the WebEye module leaves almost uh, nothing, nothing to chance. There's, you can do almost anything connectivity-wise. You can connect to it over a local area network. That's very simple to do. You just open your web browser, type in the device's IP address into the URL in your browser, and it'll pull up this page right here. You can also connect to it remotely through an internet connection. So if you have this board plugged into a router at your office that has internet connection, you can access it from anywhere in the world on any device with a built-in web browser. That includes iPhone, Android, iPad, tablets, remote computers, anything with a built-in web browser. And there's no software to install. So uh, it's pretty much plug and play. The only thing that you have to do if you want to set this device up for remote uh, access through internet is you have to set up port forwarding on the router that it's connected to to allow you to access it remotely. And we'll do a little video to kind of show you how to do that and uh, we'll probably put that in the desktop video for you to take a look at. So you can access it over local area network remotely through an internet connection it supports DHCP and static IP address assignment. So it's got just about everything. It also supports TCP sockets. So you can write your own custom software to control the device. You can write an application in Visual Basic, in LabVIEW, in MATLAB, pretty much any common language that can open a TCP port can be used to write a, an application to control this device. So that pretty well goes over all the connectivity of the device. Now, um, one nice thing about the WebEye controller is you can customize it as much or as little as you want. So what that means is you can see this interface right here. Okay. Now, the interface is a, a web page that we designed that's going to be in the module whenever you receive it. It'll have all the on-off buttons, the A to D, the My Page, all that. That being said, you can make your own HTML pages to load into this controller and control the relays. And we'll have more documentation on that in the coming future. So you can actually design a web page that looks like your company's website, and you can have buttons on there for controlling lights or motors or just about anything. So you can go that far as to customize the whole look of the website or you can just re rename the relay names like here it says relay one right now we could go in there and change that to say anything like a uh, garage door opener uh, same thing goes as well for the a to d inputs you can rename the inputs um, so say you have a magnet sensor on your front door you could name it front door and then you could tell if it was open or closed so that's, uh, that's the customization, and there's going to be a lot more coming for that in the future. We are not by any means done developing for these modules. We will be supporting them and releasing new features in the coming couple of years probably until we find something bigger and better to replace this. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the customization of the module. It's really, really easy to do. And uh, like, you, like I said, we'll have more videos and documentation on that. So you've pretty much seen everything that there is uh, about the interface on this monitor. Now, 
the one thing that we designed into here was to allow you to uh, customize the module for, say, a, uh, for a cell phone or a tablet, which means it'll kind of resize this page to fit on the phone or the tablet better. It's uh, optimized for that screen size. So that really lends itself well to running on mobile devices, which we've seen is a huge uh, market these days. A lot of people want to control things from their cell phone or their tablet. And the WebEye is ready to do that. So um, I think the WebEye is a great new product. I think it's only going to get better as time goes on. We have uh, ideas in place for uh, sending and receiving emails to the WebEye. Um, one of our dreams is to be able to have an input trigger an email. So if an input gets triggered, uh, you could send a text message to your smartphone. And I think that would be a really cool feature. And this module does support SMTP server. So that's something that we may get into in the future. So that being said, this is the WebEye device. Um, like I said, it's available on a huge uh, line of boards. Uh, the Pro XR series, the Pro XR Lite, the Reactor, the TerraList, um, just a gigantic amount of products under the WebEye series. So be sure you go on our site and check it out at www.controlanything.com. And we hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.